Assalamu alaikum. As a revert, Ramadan and Eid can be quite a lonely, isolating and just sad time. The purpose of this series is to guide, encourage both born Muslims and reverts during this time so both reverts and Muslims and the community at large can have the best Ramadan and Eid, inshallah. If you are a born Muslim or if you are a revert, an established revert that maybe has now a family inshallah I encourage you to invite new reverts into your home for both iftars any time during Ramadan but especially Eid my first Eid was as a revert to Islam was quite quite lonely subhanallah quite sad as I knew it was a time of celebration and I knew it was a time of closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and growth in my iman but it wasn't like that for me. It subhanallah like my first my first Ramadan alhamdulillah I did everything that I could that I knew to to make it as an enjoyable Ramadan as possible but when it came to the Eid I knew there was a celebration but not much more than that. I had heard from my friends that there was something called Eid. I had heard that uh, as a revert that we should only celebrate, that we should only celebrate two times during the year. Both of those are Eids and we shouldn't celebrate anything else as Muslims inshallah. So I knew there was a day of celebration, but nothing more than that and the days leading up to Eid no one really shared with me much about their day and what they're going to do and I was quite quiet you know being a bit of an omnivert and this particular time very introverted I just proceeded and didn't ask any questions and didn't ask to be invited anywhere and I didn't really know any celebration that was happening up until the morning of Eid and a friend messaged me and said, oh, where are you going to go pray? SubhanAllah, I had no idea that there was Eid Salah and that it was tradition to then celebrate with family and friends after that. I just went to work and I started seeing these Instagram stories and Facebook and I got a couple messages from friends in terms of what they were doing on that day but it was too late subhanallah and it just it, it made it quite quite a low point where it's supposed to be a high point a day of celebration inshallah subhanallah my second Eid was totally different it was one of the most special aids I had, I have had till even today, alhamdulillah. A dear friend, a dear friend of mine, um, I was subhanallah, I was invited to two, two Eid celebrations actually, to a, uh, an Egyptian's uh, friend's house, alhamdulillah, and we had, we had lots of food, alhamdulillah, and good conversation, and it was very warm and welcoming. And then after that, I went to another friend's Eid celebration, an Indonesian, Malaysian, friends celebration and it was truly special alhamdulillah i i came with some gifts to the uh, the owners of the house and handed my gifts over but the most beautiful part the part that was the most memorable for myself was to see both the older generation the younger generation and then the grandchildren generation all in one room alhamdulillah and the little kids the very little kids they were um, getting their gifts, they were happy, they were excited and subhanAllah, I remember there was also like a, a, a point for the kids because they had been practicing their memorization of the Qur'an and so they, they hopped on a chair in front of everyone, uh, mashallah, Allahumma barik, and uh, they recited what they could remember and it was just beautiful, the energy was beautiful, the vibe was beautiful, alhamdulillah. Um, it just felt like there was so much barakah in this day and in this, in being invited there as well, alhamdulillah. Totally different from my first Eid, very different experience. And what made that special, what that made that really special was being invited, being invited to a, a born Muslim's house with their family there, alhamdulillah, eating good food, having good conversation and seeing the, the the blessings of that day alhamdulillah 
If you're a revert or a born Muslim, you're probably aware of the barakah, the rewards of just hosting someone and feeding them, even if it's as small as a, a date in breaking their fast. The reward is you receive the blessings of that person's fast without lessening the, the, the rewards of the, the fasting individual who you have invited over. SubhanAllah. So not only do you get the rewards for your fast for that day, but anyone who you provide food for, for them to break their fast. So inshallah, if you're a born Muslim with a large family or a small family, alhamdulillah, inshallah, you, I encourage you to invite those new reverts, those new reverts in the community over to your house, whether you've just met them at the masjid, whether you know of them and you can message around inshallah. And to those reverts who are more established, maybe have families or maybe they're two, three, four years uh, into their journey in Islam, Alhamdulillah, inshallah, open up your home to those reverts as well. I mean, my personal preference is to, um, you know, being a revert, I'd love to surround myself with a born Muslim family, uh, iftar or Eid, but Alhamdulillah, each into their own and their own preferences. Now, if you are a revert and this is your first Ramadan, I know it can be a little bit nerve wracking and maybe you're feeling a little bit shy and maybe you're introverted. I strongly encourage you to just reach out to your fellow brothers and sisters in Islam and say that you would like to break your fast with them and their family, inshallah. I know it's difficult, but alhamdulillah, it will make it will make your Ramadan so much more special, inshallah. Now, I completely understand if you're a born Muslim or an established revert that maybe this isn't something which you're thinking about or you're consciously actively thinking about and wanting to do. I encourage those who are thinking about it that to use this video as a tool, as a means to share with people, share with your community and encourage those in your community to open up their homes, Islamic homes, and, and open them up to reverts, inshallah, and just the wider community, inshallah.